Do you have this kind of experience when you try to talk with other people to explain them something, but after a few words you just, just started and after a few words they already know what you want to say, but it's not true? And you are so irritated because you want to finish your sentence, but they are not listening to you anymore because they know already and nothing will change their mind. I have this with my mom. <laughs> yeah, but when I say this to my mom, he said, you know, it's exactly the same when you have been teenager, it was totally opposite. I try to say you something and you know, now it's boring already after a few words. It's sometimes, brothers and sisters, it's really hard to listen to other people. You know, I know that I have to make a homily in seven minutes because after seven minutes nobody is listening. Yeah, it's true. When I have been, imagine this, when I have been a teacher in kindergarten, I know it, I, I have a half an hour for religious education and I know, I know it that I can use this just 15 minutes that they will be focused on me. Today in gospel, Jesus is coming to the man who is deaf and he is not speaking well. And he is coming to him very close, very close. And he said to him, a fata, that is, be open. How many times, brothers and sisters, in our life, if we will be open for other people, if we will listen to them carefully, our life will be more easier. How many problems we will finish when we will be a good listening? Be open to listen what the other people want to say to you. Be open also for the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray so many times for the power of the Holy Spirit. And God is ready. Holy Spirit is so ready to come to us. But we are not open enough to receive all grace from God. When Jesus made a miracle, when they cure people, so many times he said, your faith save you. Your faith. Brothers and sisters, how wide we will open for the grace of, of Christ. This kind we will receive. The grace of God, it's Full, it wants to fool us, but how many, how much we will receive, it's up to us, not to God. God, He wants to, you know, make us full of His blessing. I am always, you know, compare this with uh, buckets. What we are doing. What we are doing during our life, we have a bucket. But it's, we have to, you know, how to say this, dig this bucket. How much we will make a, a space in this bucket. How this much we will receive from God. God is so justice and he will make every one of us full, our buckets will be full, but how much will be inside, it's up to us. Our life is to make the space for the God's grace. Be open. It means to be ready to receive what God wants to give you. Because so many times we start to complain. 
that we are not receiving so many like others. This is who make a mistake, God? Or maybe I am not really open for his grace. What does it mean to be open for his grace? It means to accept him with all his love, even with all his commandments and rules and duties. Be open for God. It means to receive everything from, from his hands. Blessing and even sometimes sacrifice. Be open, brothers and sisters, it means to accept myself, my own relationship with God. Be open, it means to be under God's will. So in this way, I hope, and this is how I understand it. In this, we will be with him and we will receive all happiness and we will be in heaven. Amen.